For our next project, we need to make an MP3 to upload and a CD with both audio and data on it. In this video, I'm going to go over how to make uh, our files for both and show you how to burn the CD once we have the files. So to begin with, let's select all. We need to grab all of our tracks. Uh, this has been mixed, let's say. So if I hit Command A, I can select all the tracks. So that gives me a beginning and an end time. Here's, you can see the end of my track right here, which I added also just for safety. But if you select all, it's just going to grab the files that you have. And I also want to point out at the front of this whirly, that's the first sound that we have. There's a little bit of space in front of the track. That way we don't cut off the transient of the first hit. So to bounce this down, we go to File. Let's go down to Bounce and project or section. And that brings up our bounce page. I'm going to click this off for now. Here you can see we have our start, which was the beginning of this track here, and we have our end back to here. If you look at this box, include audio tail is also checked, which means it's going to include the reverb trail or the delay trails of the track at the end. There's an option of real-time or offline for mode. If you want to listen while it bounces, you put it on real-time. If you just want it to bounce offline and a lot quicker, you can hit offline. Normalize finds your highest peak and then raises your whole track until it's as high as it can go. The overload protection does just the opposite. It takes the highest peak that went over and lowers your track to fit it in. We put a limiter on the output and that's doing the same job as this normalize, but a lot better. So we'll just leave this off because if the limiter's set up right, we don't need to worry about normalizing. For this project, we need to make an MP3 or MP4 for upload and a track for audio CD. So we'll start with making the track for the CD first. CD quality has a resolution of 16-bit and a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz. So that's what we want to set up our first sound file as, which is PCM, which is a lossless format standing for pulse code modulation. Let's click that. So file format, there's three formats that we can pick from. Wave is kind of the, the standard, so I'm going to go with Wave. Resolution is 16-bit, that's CD quality. And sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz. So we're going to keep all this together. I'm going to make it interleaved. And dithering, we have a few options here. In the next chapter of the book, we're going to be going over what dithering is and why you want to use it. Basically, you use uh, dithering on 16-bit resolution or less to gain a little more dynamic range and higher frequencies. This dithering option on the bottom, UV22HR, is an algorithm specifically made for downgrading from 24-bit to 16-bit, which this project is doing. It's a 24-bit project, and we're making a 16-bit mix, so I'm going to use UV22HR. So now let's set up our MP4. Now we have these settings to go through for making an MP4. We want to make an AAC format, and I'm just going to go with the highest kilobits per second possible. And that's it. Now that we have these two formats ready to go, I'm going to hit bounce and this window comes up and asks us where we want to put it. I'm going to put it on the desktop. And I'm just going to call it Dude. And I'm going to bounce. Alright, now that it's been bounced, I'm going to hide this and look at the desktop and you can see over here we have our two mixes we have an mp4 and the wave this is what we're going to upload into d2l and this is what we're going to use to make our cd track so i am going to open toast this is what we're going to use to burn our cd and when Toast comes up, I'm just going to go with the audio CD to begin with. 
and the CD audio window is the first to open. And all you do is drag the audio files that you want in the order that you want. In this case, it's just one. We also want to put data on this CD, so we need to put this to enhanced audio CD. This will divide the CD into two parts, data and audio tracks. And I have data for dude. I'm going to go to logic, and here we go, dude logic. And I am opening the data tab and dragging dude logic to the data. And you can see we have 550.5 megs on disk. If I go to audio CD, we're going to see this go up just a little bit. And there we go, and that's the audio track that it's also going to burn. If I take this down to audio CD, you can see we're only burning the one track. I'll add the enhanced audio again. Now we're adding the data as well as the audio. And you want to burn from this tab, because when you go to data, this is all we're burning. So on the audio tab, with an enhanced CD, we're burning both data and an audio track. If we look to the right, you can see add CD text. This is where we can add more information that'll show up when the CD is playing. The name of this track is Dude, and the artist is All Star United, so I'll just put that in. I'll hit OK. So now we have CD text as well. I have a CDR in the computer already, so all I have to do now is hit burn. And now you can see it's crunching the numbers and burning our CD. Now that it's done burning, it's asking us if we want to verify. And if you don't do anything, it just automatically starts to verify. And I'll just let it do its thing. And now it's done verifying, so we can either eject the CD or mount it, which will load it for us. All right, and now we can quit Toast Titanium. Let's look at our CD. And I'm not going to save what I have here. And if we look right down here, you can see our, our CD. I'll bring it in the middle so we can see it. Here's the audio section of the CD. We have one track. And here is the data section on that CD. I'm going to open with, uh, yeah, I'll do it with QuickTime. And we'll listen to that track. You can see it's working. Okay, and we'll quit. And if I go to iTunes, you can also see it there as well. So here is the audio CD, and here is the track. Double click to play. So there you have it. You have a CD which can be played on any CD player and the logic file in the data section of the CD so you can give it to anybody. And that's it for this tutorial.